Meanwhile, SpaceX's fleet of rockets remains grounded at this hour. Yeah, third time in three months. The move comes after Saturday's Crew 9 launch didn't go as planned. Liftoff of Crew 9 now solely to the International Space Station. Crew 9 started and ended without issues. A picture perfect launch followed by a docking at the ISS. On the return deorbit burn, SpaceX says an unknown issue caused the upper stage to land off course. This time, no one was hurt, but SpaceX grounded the fleet until further investigation. Uh, the, the issue, of course, is the fact that uh, this upper stage is designed to uh, re-enter and uh, any debris or any parts and pieces have to land in a safe zone. Uh, worst case scenario, it could be on land. Dr. Don Platt, a professor at Florida Tech, says based on previous groundings, the Falcon 9s will start up again in the coming weeks. Yeah, I would say within a week or so, they should be back on target here. Earlier this summer, a batch of Starlink satellites got lost after a hardware malfunction. Now it's all fixed. In a post-launch press conference, Sarah Walker, director of Dragon Mission Management, reflected on the challenges spaceflight presents to SpaceX. Um, we still learn something every single time we fly. We've had our, our share of hardware challenges that the NASA teams have been incredible to work through with us. Rocketry is still very difficult. This is not an easy thing. We're talking about huge amounts of energy. The pressure for a fix is on as NASA needs SpaceX to fly the Europa Clipper spacecraft next month on a Falcon Heavy. The planets have to align to make the mission a success. The hope is to learn more about Jupiter's icy moon and a vast internal ocean that may support life so understanding and repairing any problems with SpaceX hardware is critical. Crew 9 flew up with two on board in order to bring home the Starliner crew. NASA and Boeing said hardware issues were just too great of a risk for astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. So all four are expected to return right here to Earth next February.